let's build an app that will keep track of receipts. This app will support multiple tenants, and each tenant will have their own set of users and roles that they can manage themselves. We'll have several levels of security. Administrators will be able to access and modify any receipt, user, role, or organization in the system. Organization owners will be able to access and modify any receipt or user within their organization. Standard users will be able to only access and modify receipts belonging to them. First, we'll need to construct our database schema to support our use case. Let's start with the organizations table. This table will have the column organization ID and name. with organization ID configured as an integer in a primary key. Next, let's define a table to store users. Users can be optionally tied with an organization. Next, let's add roles and user roles. Finally, we'll also want to restore receipts associated with each organization. Now that our database is prepared, let's start building our app. Create a new app that points at the database. Let's create models for each entity. We'll want to sort receipts by created on. We'll also want to enable shared business rules. Let's enable custom membership. 
It should automatically pick up the user's roles and user roles tables. Go ahead and generate the app. The Baseline app provides simple security. Any user can log in and access every part of the system. We'll want to go ahead and configure our multi-tenant security within security. Only the administrator will be able to create organizations and manage roles. Let's configure our app to restrict that functionality. Open the project designer. Let's create a system node on the sitemap and move the roles and user roles pages underneath the node. Specify external URL of about blank. Specify roles of administrators. Let's move roles and user roles underneath system. We'll also want to specify the roles on these two pages as well. Organizations will also only be an admin page. Let's add a roles many to many field to users to allow changing their roles easily. Create a new field under users with the name roles. With the item style checkbox list, the list of items will come from the roles controller. The target controller to write to is user roles. Let's bind the field to the edit form and create form. Next, let's configure an easy way for admins to set up organizations with an owner account on a single form. Let's add three virtual fields to the organizations controller. Owner email, type string of length 128. Make sure to mark that the field is virtual. We'll also create owner password and owner password confirmation. Let's bind these fields to the create form. Remove the rows value from owner email. For owner password, remove rows and set text mode to password. Perform the same for confirmation.
Let's add a before business rule that will validate the password and confirmation. This code business rule will run before the insert command. We'll also want to create an after insert business rule. Let's go ahead and browse to generate the code business rule files. Open the file by pressing edit rule. In the before business rule, we'll want to check to see if the password matches the password confirmation field. If not, we'll prevent default and show an alert. Otherwise, we'll want to validate the user password against the application membership provider configuration. Let's move on to the after business rule. This business rule will insert the new user with the owner role and add them to the organization. This business rule will create the user, set the organization ID of the user, and add that user to the owner's role. Let's go ahead and try out our administrative functionality. Notice that the roles and user roles pages are located under the system node. Let's go ahead and add the owner's role now. We're now ready to add some organizations. Notice that if the password and password confirmation do not match, the insert will be blocked and an alert will be shown. Once inserting an organization, a user will be created with that organization. Notice that the organization is set and the user has the role owners. Let's try adding a second organization. This is also inserted the relevant user. Next, we'll want to implement the next level of security for owners. First, we'll want the users page to be visible only to owners and admins. We'll want the owners to be able to select a user and view all their related receipts. Drag and drop the receipts controller onto users. 
This will create a data view field. We'll want to bind this field to the edit form. Similar to before, we'll want to add a password confirmation virtual field. Make sure to bind this field to the create form. Make sure to clear the rows and set text mode to password. Let's add a before business rule to validate the password and set the organization of the user. This code business rule will run before insert or update. Let's generate the file. For this implementation, we'll want to add a property on shared business rules that allows us to easily access the user's organization ID. Open the shared business rules file and add a property. If the result is null, then the property will return negative 1. Let's jump back to the user's business rule. In the before insert or update business rule, we'll want to check if the password field is modified and that the password and password confirmation match. If it does not, then we'll prevent default and show an alert. Otherwise, we'll validate the user password. If validation succeeds, then we'll encode the password and save it into the password field. If the user is not an administrator, then we'll set the organization ID equal to the current user's organization ID. Next, we'll need to filter out records based on the current user's organization with dynamic access control rules. Let's jump back to shared business rules. Let's enumerate dynamic access control rules. If the user is not an admin, then we'll register a dynamic access control rule on organization ID to filter it to the current user's organization ID. We'll also add an access control rule for role ID to deny the record with a role ID of 1, which is administrators. Next, we'll want to use dynamic controller virtualization to hide the organization field for non-admins. We'll want to say supports virtualization true. Next, let's virtualize the controller. If not an admin, if the controller name is users,
Then we'll select the views Grid 1, Create Form 1, and Edit Form 1, find the Organization ID field, and hide it. Let's go ahead and try out the owner role. When I'm logged in as an owner, I only have access to the receipts and users pages. The users page is filtered down to only users in my organization. Let's create a user. The password will be checked against the confirmation. Notice that I can add this user as an owner. I cannot mark them as an administrator. You can see my new user shows up under my organization. Let's add another user. Next, let's configure the user's experience. First, we'll want to configure created on and created by to work as intended. Under the project settings, open features, ease configuration. Let's set up the created by user ID to equal created by. And the created on date to equal created on. This will automatically configure our fields to pick up the created by user ID and the created on date. Open the project designer. Let's add a business rule to receipts. This SQL business rule will run before insert. We'll update the organization ID field to pull the business rule property that we created earlier. Go ahead and generate the app. Once complete, open the project in Visual Studio. We'll want to make two more changes. First, we'll want receipts to be filtered by created by if the user is not an owner. Second, we'll also want the organization ID data field to hide on receipts. Let's see how it works. Let's log in as a user. I can only access the receipts page. Let's create a new receipt. I can see my receipts show up under my account. Let's switch to the second user that we created. This user cannot see the other user's receipts.
but they can't see their own. If we switch back to the owner, they have visibility into all receipts in their organization. They can also select a user and see their receipts.